today I'm going to show you how to wire up an AKT solar panel to a battery. This is going to work for any type of AKT solar panel from the 140 watt to the 40 watt. What I'm going to show you will work either to create a completely new system as we have here or if you have an existing system with your battery connected to your other electrics then this will simply fit on top of that system and provide extra charge for that system. All you need is the charge controller, the panel, wire cutters, screwdriver and your battery. So here's how we go about it. First you have to decide where to place your panel. All AKT solar panels are all weather panels so they can be permanently mounted outdoors. And most people tend to just glue them to the top of their caravan, to the top of their boat and just have them pointing vertically upwards. Then after you've decided where to place it, you need to lay out the wire towards the battery. AKT panels come with 5 metres of wire, that's normally plenty to lead from your panel to your battery and you just lay them out. Then you have to decide where to put your charge controller. You can mount this charge controller very easily by putting screws through here. The most important thing is that it's within about a metre of your battery and that it's somewhere which is about the same temperature as your battery. This is the temperature sensor here and that tests what temperature the battery is at and charges it accordingly. So now you have your panel mounted, you have your charge controller mounted, and you have your battery in place. You now need to cut the wires to make them the right distance to lead from your battery to your charge controller. So I work out the distance between the charge controller and the battery, and I'll cut the wires to the right length. It's useful to give yourself a little bit of extra here, so I'll cut them about. Now you also want to cut these connectors off the ends of your leads. These connectors are normally designed for fitting multiple panels together, like if they're on your roof. But for these circumstances, we simply don't need them. So now you have to strip the ends off the wires so they'll be able to fit into the charge controller and onto the battery. It's best to strip about 1.5 centimetres to fit them into the charge controller, and about 2.5 centimetres to fit them onto the battery. First I'll wire the cable from the battery into the charge controller. So I'll wire this one in, it's the negative cable, so the negative on the battery symbol here. Then I'll wire the positive cable here, into the positive here. And now I'll wire these cables up to the battery. Take the plus lead from the controller, and wire it into the plus terminal of the battery. There are two ways to do this. Either you can use the connector that's attached to this lug here, or if you have these, you can wire it directly to these. I'm going to show you both. This is the plus. Take the plus wire, I'll wire it in here. negative wire and I'll wire it in to this terminal here. Just curve the end around a bit and place it under here. Screw the top down on it. Now you have your controller wired into your battery. Now we have to connect the panel to the charge controller and we do that in exactly the same way by stripping 1.5 centimeters off the end of the wires. and then simply wiring these in to the charge controller with the positive here and the negative here. So now you need to work out which is the positive and the negative wire. You'll see on the back here, you have this one labelled as negative and this one labelled as positive. And another way of working this out is that always, on solar panels, the positive is on the right of the junction box. So that's this wire here. So we get the positive wire. Or you simply wire it into the positive on the charge controller. And you do the same with the negative.
and you can see the light cycling upwards, which shows it's charging. And that's it. Your panel is now charging your battery via your charge controller. And I'm actually going to use this to create an off-grid system for the house. So look out for the next video about that. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with us. www.com